Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode we are going to discuss that the Finland has officially joined the NATO alliance. The Finland uh, flag was basically raised on Tuesday afternoon in the NATO headquarter. It is basically a symbolic moment but it marked the Finland as became the official NATO alliance country. And it also changed the power dimensions in the Europe as well. In fact, it strengthened the Western alliance also strengthened the western allegiance and it shown that the war in ukraine basically compelled even those countries into the nato alliance which were historically neutral the president of finland is expected to attend the ceremony on the nato 74th anniversary experts are considering it as a severe blow and defeat for the president vladimir putin because his goal was to stop the expansion of the nato instead more countries are now joining the nato Last week, we had seen that the Turkey ratified the NATO membership. This will basically help the NATO to have a um, strong military presence on the uh, longest border with the Russia. Historically, we had seen that the Russia tried to invade the Finland. 1939, known as the Winter War, was also known as the First Soviet-Finnish War as well. It was the war between the Soviet Union and the Finland. The war began with the Soviet invasion of Finland on 30th November 1939. It started after the three weeks of World War II started, but after three and a half months, the Moscow Peace Treaty was signed on 13 March 1940. Historically, Finland always had to uh, face a bigger neighbor, um, which was much stronger in terms of military strength. So Finland basically shared 830 miles border with the Russia. But how the Finland will be totally integrated into NATO, this is yet to be seen. The new government in the Finland and it still has to negotiate following an election on Sunday. We'll have to decide whether Finland will accept foreign troops on its soil. Will ex- and the Finland even accept the nuclear weapons on its borders, which surely are belonging to the Allies. So after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Finland decided to join the NATO because the Finland wanted the protection from the Russians. Therefore, the Finland basically dropped its military non-alignment and applied to join the NATO. But this decision can fire back as well because this will trigger the Russian response as well. It's seen the decade of peace uh, on the Russian uh, Finland border, but now this thing will change in the future. And also applied along with the Finland for the NATO membership, which was rejected by the Turkey because the Turkey thinks that the Sweden is uh, committed to fight the Turkish government in terms of uh, by supporting the those elements which are against the uh, Turkish government and which the Turkey basically considers the terrorist. Certain Kurd elements uh, which are residing in the Sweden who supported the coup against the uh, Turkish president back in 2016. The Finnish and uh, the Finland uh, foreign ministers and the Swedish foreign ministers are going to attend the NATO summit. They will focus on how to provide more military aid and equipment to the uh, Ukraine. A NATO Ukraine commission has also been appointed and the focus of, of that commission will be that how to uh, help the Ukraine to counter offensive against the Russian troops and how to strengthen the Ukraine partnership with the NATO. So is also considering to modernize the military weapons for the Ukrainians. The NATO chief today said that it is a good day for Finland's security, for Nordic security and for NATO as a whole adding that Sweden will also be safer as a result. So friends, this was about today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. Do inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box. Thank you for